。今回は、チョモロプルーフ初のコラボ動画になります。はい、今回はなんと、自分らも紹介したアクアボイスの CEO のフィンさんに、えー、なんとお話伺うことができましたので、えー、皆さんにも見てほしいなってところで。いやー、すごいですね。すごい。っていうよ自らだからね。いや、あのー、うんいろいろ本当に聞いて、アクアの創設の話とか、うん、で、バイブコーディングにかかることももちろん聞いてますので、ぜひ本編見ていってください。最後まで見ていってください。Um, so, can you introduce yourself and talk a little bit about Aqua Voice? Absolutely, yeah. My name is Finn, co founder of Aqua Voice. Aqua Voice is basically talking to any text box. Everything that you kind of hope that Apple dictation would be, plus, A lot of sort of AI smarts that just make it useful in a way that you wouldn't really expect voice to be useful. So you should use it when you talk to AIs, you should use it when you text, you should use it for Slack, you should use it to do annoying emails that you really don't want to do, and it'll、yeah. kind of adapt to all those different situations. Everyone in Japan loves it. I can't say it, but Apple, Apple's voice is not that good, right?、Mm-hmm. So It's great. And so, why, why did you come up with this、um, Aqua Voice, like this idea? That's a good question. So, I am dyslexic. I'm a terrible speller. Right around sixth grade or whatever, my dad got me a big boom microphone and Dragon Dictation. Probably Windows 7, Windows XP, something like that. And then I would do my school papers with this. You know, I would often kind of get a lot of red marks on those papers. Because I would dictate them up and then be like, well, this sentence makes no sense. And you're like, what did you mean? I'm like, what? That's the first time I'm seeing that too, because it's just riddled with dictation.、Right. Um, but I continue to do it. I did it at Harvard, did all my Harvard papers with dictation, and have loved the space, the concept of the space, and have suffered a lot for like, the weaknesses of the, the tech. You know, looking at, I would say a big change moment was, of course, Whisper. When、um, I think it's 2021. OpenAI releases the, the Whisper model. They open source it. A lot of people worked on it, showing、oh. go big with the data. You get huge, huge, huge quality improvements. And they, then the architecture gets even way simpler, especially if you compare to what Dragon was doing and some of the, the previous stuff, which was focused on real time.、Yeah. I've just looked at that and I go, okay, boom. So we're going to make voice. And I think that was kind of the sign. And so it was you know, a few years kind of doing other stuff. Before it all came together, it goes, okay, here's how we can do it. It's fast enough, it's cheap enough. I love it. I love it that it connects to your background and to your lifestyle and everything. That's so beautiful. And was it, was it the idea first or was it like the team first? A little bit of both. So we worked together on a previous startup idea. It was a little bit of an art project type thing. It was supposed to be like a cross between Figma and, and Pinterest. And we did a lot of cool design stuff. And then we, the moment of, okay, we're going to have to turn this into a business. And everyone's like, no, like, we love how this looks. Like, w- this was our art project. And、um, we had worked on some different AI ideas. And it's like one day I kind of came and had a demo we, we all sort of worked on. And it just worked way better than we thought it was going to work. That was kind of this key moment of putting these technologies together, which is essentially transcription and language models. You know, there's, there's extra, you know, fancy stuff that gets done to, to iron. Out kinks, but these two technologies go together really, really well. You know, that was late in 2023. So it was before voice、oh, wow. was like the thing.、Um, yeah. Was, yeah, even uncool at the time. But we're big. I would say the thing that kind of unites all of us, unites the team, unites what motivates us. The team's dyslexic, right? But we are old school. We like creators. What are you going to what are you gonna make? What are you going to build? It depends only on you. You know, you can do it. Anywhere. It's for those t y p e of people are really fun to work on because you get to use them yourself.、Yeah. And it's a pain point、yeah. for yourself too, right? So that's,、yes. that's great. You went to Y Combinator last year, right? Yes.、Um, yeah. Let me ask something like a more business side. Why did you choose Y Combinator and what was the biggest things to take away from Y Combinator? It's a great question. Aqua is kind of a prosumer tool. It's not strictly selling to businesses, but it's、mm-hmm. not like Snapchat consumer. We didn't know. you know, We kind of had heard of YC and we're like, let's go ahead and do it. This, these seem like our people. Little did we know, they hadn't really accepted any consumer companies for like five years. So we applied and you know, we're just like, yeah, we're going to do a consumer thing and it's going to be the best voice you've ever done. You know, We had, had a demo that was, it, it showed what we wanted the world to look like, where you're talking to the computer, 
and it's silently picking up what you're putting down and mm -hmm. keeps you in flow and that type of thing. Um, and I think that worked. But yeah, we get there and they're like, yeah, you guys, you're the first consumer batch of companies we've done in, in like five years, which is, you know, that's a decade in startup time. Yeah, so that was definitely a shock. And then certainly, yeah, it, kind of in the middle, the voice thing started to get more interest. And now there's a lot of people doing stuff in it. And, you know, we, we, we think it's all great. And, you know, the more people focus on voice as first class input mm. method, I think that the better things will be. Um, yeah, I mean, one thing that we are mm. fairly happy with, people seem to... We spent a ton of time. So people don't say we like, it was crazy the amount of time we spent just frame by frame through all these animations. How does it look when you turn it on? What's the sound? Where's the orb? You know, how does the orb animate? What exact spring animation to make the? You know, that's kind of against standard YC startup advice, right? Standard YC startup advice: just get it out, and you know, odds are people will hate it, and then at least you didn't waste time on it. When you talk to a person and their face moves and they kind of understand you. And like, how do you get those interactions to feel, how do you kind of get a computer to do its own version of that? And I don't know that we fully succeeded, but that uh, people have recognized, oh, I see what these guys are going for with voice, which is I'm not talking to Siri. I'm not talking to a customer support AI in a dentist appointment. This is going to be a, this is going to be like my keyboard. That's very cool. Give you one, one other idea. Hit me. Um, I, I was just making like a MCP server that um, is like a central like AI cortex. Like it's like a memory system. Awesome. If the Aqua has like all your like like knowledge from the past like you know um, input, and then it can understand you and actually input what you actually like mean, that'll be so cool. Like totally agree. I think you'll be yeah. very happy with some stuff. Yeah, uh, this it'll be out this summer. Um, we want good, but yes, I think what you're talking about will feel like magic. One of the things that we were happy about when we shipped Deep Context, you do get these delightful moments where, oh, it actually it knows the code project I'm working on and has syntax highlighted a weird string exactly as it appears in the code, yeah. and it probably wouldn't have been the end of the world if we didn't get that. It's so delightful when you don't have to do anything else and it's just there. And I think that's the standard for this kind of memory feature or w whether it's um, Aqua's own memory or you mentioned MCP. Hey, I mean, just the whole concept of people building their whole kind of AI computing world, connecting it together. You know, our, our kind of thought on what the future of a lot of businesses, especially tech businesses are going to be is, you have some canvas, some single sheet of glass, might be a cursor or who knows, maybe somebody does a nice canvas thing. You have MCPs on every data source. You That's how you talk. And then you, you, you'll prompt different agents to go do it. And hopefully you prompt it with your voice. And that's a pretty um, actually empowering thing. When you think about the amount of resources a single person can uh, use, it really kind of control, right? It's almost like a general or a, a spaceship captain or something. A different topic. So do you personally do VOD coding? What is, what is your perspective on that? I VOD code all the time. You know, I um, do it. I have a, again, Apple Note with probably 15 or 20 different VOD code prompts. And whenever there's a new tool or a new model, I break one out and I go, okay, how far is this one gonna get? Mm. So like the, the classic is, all right, to clone Hacker News. Or an, another project that's been a ton of fun lately is, uh, it's kind of, it's total nerd out, but um, <laughs> the Apollo 11 guidance computer code is is open source, but it was from like the 60s, right, written on punch cards. So there's just some yeah. repo on GitHub yeah. that has it, and it's in custom assembler. And so you, you look at it, it's just all these like instructions with blocks of comments. And oh. so a real fun one is take all this and let's just make it C sharp, or let's make it TypeScript, let's make it Python. It's cool because I can't read the assembly. I can read. I think Aqua is a good for it to vibe coding. What do you guys find to be the best vibe coding platform today? Right now, Claude Code. Claude Code. Um, I personally use Windsurf. Um, Cursor is fine too. Um, I don't really have an opinion on those yeah. two, but Claude Code. 
mainly showing how to use the wind cell in our YouTube channel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Seiji, he's crazy about cloud core. I, I, I love building stuff. I like the, I think they did a good job with the interface on cloud code. I've, I have, it's not a, my go to, mm-hmm. um, but I, I should give it another try. And yeah, we, we use WindSurf. Another one is Klein for kind of the sci fi factor. They, they just designed it to be like kind of a hacker interface. Mm-hmm. It's just a VS Code extension. Um, yeah. But do a lot of control about like how much context gets in, in and whatnot. And you put in your, your API key because you're paying for mm-hmm. everything. You can um, have it load in way more context than a lot of these other tools will load in automatically. One last hack I would, I think this works, you can do it without Aqua, but it's especially good with Aqua. If you're working on a vibe coding project or, or anything, drop as the last sentence um, to, the, to the model. You can ask me questions one at a time to help clarify and complete your task. And then I'll spit out these questions. Some of them you won't have thought of, some of them you have yeah. clear answer to, and then boom, knock those out with voice really quick. And that can like 10x the output. Um, as opposed to having the model make all the decisions for you, and mm. a lot of times don't want that. Yeah, yeah, you want you want that human in the loop, and like and talking to like being as if it's a human that's talking to you too. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And what's what's your like what's your um like number one feature that you want to tell us that's like coming? Um, if you can like hint 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 something. People ask us about like three things most of all, and I won't promise the order in which they'll be released. The one we kind of mentioned earlier is that, hey, shouldn't this um, n- learn more about what I'm talking about over time and, and get better over time? Um, that is coming. And that the other is, as much as they are kind of a pain to set up, these MCPs are quite powerful. You know, Aqua, we don't think of as something that's necessarily gonna like talk to your Sentry MCP. And the last one, Oh, uh, the last one is iOS. Yeah, okay. come on. <laughs> Let's go, man. Yeah. But, get it right now. <laughs> well, we, we got to get a few other things in place to make it really great. I think it might make a lot of sense to people to have the kind of memory stuff work, and then that pulls over to wow. iOS. But I think that could be really, really powerful. Yeah, it's fantastic. Fantastic. One last question. Absolutely. Um, so... What would you say to someone that's starting their own startup right now? This would be, this would be the main thing. Um, you can look at all of the startup advice you, in the world, and some of it's going to really help you. Some of it's not. I would say get really clear about your mission and your values. A lot of startup mm-hmm. advice comes from different kinds of people with very Mm -hmm. different mission and very different values. If you Mm -hmm. take startup advice from somebody who's more mercenary, who's just out there, you know, they want to go viral, they want to get famous, and you want to build an incredible engineering system, that's, that can be really oil and water. Um, And so if you just kind of say like, there's kind of the YC playbook, there's like the zero to one Peter Thiel playbook, there's somehow it has to kind of be fitted it to you and so i think more people should do it uh but i mean one thing i did see at yc is you have a lot of people who just are imitating these things that have worked for others and the problem is it's like so so hard to build your own thing and not give up you betray that core energy that wants you to that that's pushing you to make something at all I think it's really easy to give up. You end up pivoting five, five different times and you kind of build like a, a buzzword startup. Um, and it ultimately, and I've seen this happen, it just undermines your confidence a lot. Uh, you don't feel like you can uh, say, here's how the world really should be, which is, of course, that's the, the whole original point of starting something is you're trying to say, here's how yeah. this thing should be. Um, and so, yeah, I would say get clear on values, get clear on mission. So, yeah, certainly it, it, once you've lost the energy where you, you're not prepared to tell somebody they're wrong, it might be over. That, that's my view anyhow. Um, totally. Yeah. Well, for the viewers who haven't tried 
the aqua voice yet. Um, give me the fastest way to try aqua from today. If you vibe code, if you if you code it all like zero to one, go to Repolit or Bolt and just just try a you know have it clone Hacker News or something, um, and and just try to do it with your voice, and you'll be surprised how much kind of more high level you can you can stay with with voice, and then um, if you notice it doesn't get your name or somebody else's name right, you you can plug those words in and iron that out really really oh, quick. In settings, totally. you can add custom instructions. This would come more pro feature, but if you have like preferences on um, how the text should appear, it's especially common, I think, for people in Japan, at least that we've heard, where they, they have kind of almost text replacements they want. Um, whereas, like, if I, if I say this, you know, kind of condense it from more sparse character mode to the more condensed character mode, or you can say, like, one I always have is just don't start sentences with and, please. Like I, I I'll I'll pause and then I'll say yeah. start a sentence that way. But I just yeah, I, I think I think starting off with just talking to AIs is is the thing to do. Absolutely, absolutely. Embrace laziness in a way, right? It's a uh, word, right? By vibe coding. Yes, that, the definitely vibe coding. Yeah, that's great, man. Yeah, it's cool. That's great. That's yes. great. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. everyone, everyone that's watching this video, you should. Get aqua right now. <laughs> Don't use your keyboard. Without typing. <laughs> Without typing. Just that um, function key. Just the function key. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah thanks so much again. Um, uh, we really appreciate that you're taking time. Of course, guys. Thanks so thanks much. So thanks a lot. That was. Yeah, 皆さん明日に備えて。Stay strong. Core. すごかった。いやすごかったですね。いや本当に。かっこいいな。かっこよかったですね。なんか自分の芯がしっかりしててで。自分が、えー、必要だったものをそれをプロダクトにしていくっていうのがすごく見えてよかったですよね。なんかなんかスタートアップの人ってもっともっとゴツゴツしてるというかあのー、なんかもうイーガーな人が多いのかなと思ってる<笑>、うん、なんか自分たちでも使えるツールをみたいなところからスタートしてるしも,もちろんその実体験を元に作ってるものだから絶対に響く人いると思うんだよね。うんなんかそういうアイディアってめちゃめちゃいいなって思いましたね、はい、それを皆さんも作れるそれをできるっていうのがあの、うん、自分らもい,いつも紹介しているバイブコーディングだと思いますし、うん、あの AI を使っていくってことによって今まであったものを、えー、も,もっと優れたものにするってことができると思いますので、まあ、それで自分も、えー、バイブコーディングを学んで、ね、いろんなものなんか自分の作りたいものとかも、まあ、別に、うん、あの自,分自分のアイディアじゃないけど人が作りたいものとかそういうものも作れるようになってきたっていうところも、うんえー、あるので、まあ、ぜひ皆さんにもねその体験をしてほしいなっていうところがありますいや本当やね今ね自分が作ってるやつは僕なんかのトレーニングするんだけどトレーニングをこう記録していくところで自分に合った適正のこう、うん、強度とかそういうのを出すものってあ,のあるようでなかったり自分にフィットしてるものが正直なくてそれを今ね作ったりしててそれもなんか1ユーザー自分のために作ってるような感じするからでもそれがきっといつかは大き,な大きなユーザーが使ってくれるとかそういうふうになってくれたらいいなと思うしなんか最初はね,ね、うん、お金お金じゃなくて何作りたいんだろうとか、うん、ここから出てくるものを感じ取れればなんかいいなと思う。うん本当に、うんまあ、こんな感じでですね私たちこうバイブコーディングっていうのを通してどういうふうにどういったものを作っていこうのかまあそういったところをね皆さんに紹介これからねでき,ればできればいいかなと思ってますのでぜひチャンネル登録よろしくお願いしますでこんなふうに対談動画も増やしていくつもりなのでまあぜひねこういう動画も見たいって方は、まあ、コメント欄でこういう人とも話してほしいとかこういう、えー、話聞きたいなっていうのがあればぜひコメントしてもらってチャンネル登録もお願いしますいやーこれからもっともっと楽しくなりますね。はい、いいね本当に。<笑> OK、それでは明日に備えて。ステッション。